Welcome to Brain Wreck, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jason Ash. And I'm Kevin Graham. And this is the podcast that used to do something, and now we're doing something else, and we're changing it around. Changing up. Are we still a podcast? We're like a vo- What are we? A vodcast? A vodcast? That sounds weird. Oh. Well, we're, <laughs> we're making up... Uh. We're, well, I mean, the kids are just making up words nowadays anyway, like like vlog and That's, and and podcast and transgender and all sorts of stuff. Transgender is a real word, you ass. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> but anyway, we were a podcast. Well, actually, we should run we're, a, we should do a brief. We history. should should we do we we should we should do a brief we should history. okay brief history. you go ahead because so, you seem interested in doing that. <laughs> well, okay, I love the sport. Um. So, yeah, we were a podcast that uh, we started off in 2004. 15. 15. 15. 2015. And we were doing just a regular podcast mm-hmm. thing. Didn't really know what we were doing, that kind of thing. You know, no, just kind of. We, we still don't. We still don't. We're just uh, f- seat of our pants, as, as it is, as it were. The, is, is it the seat of our pants or the seam of our pants? I thought it was the seat of the pants. Flying by the seat of your pants? What, what, but what if you want to fly by the seam of your pants? I mean, that would make more sense. Yeah, because, because you can't you're... trust the seam. At least I can't. Not in my pants, anyway. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but... I mean, go ahead. I, I, uh, okay. <laughs> so anyway, so we didn't really know what we were doing. We still kind of don't. But yeah, uh, at at the beginning of this year, two thousand. This is 2017. 17. It's now been almost two years. Almost two years. Yes. So, so we were, you know, we were, we were going along, going along, yeah. doing our thing, that kind of thing, and then we made lofty goals. We did make at, lofty goals. At the end well, of you, you kind of made lofty goals. Your goals. I were made way more. I, than- I made claims. <laughs> let's, let's be real. I, I claimed I was going to do st- stuff and didn't do any. I don't of it. really. I wouldn't really con- consider anything that I've ever done really a goal. I mean, that's fair, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, w- one of the things that we wanted to do, starting at the beginning of 2017, was we wanted to, to do video. Video, yeah. We wanted to go yeah, from the was... audio platform to the video platform. And we did that. We went on uh, Facebook Live. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we did that for a while. Mm-hmm. And now we have rebranded the show. Rebranded. We were brainstormers. But we decided, you know, it turns out we, we're not really good at <laughs> we're brainstorming. Not, we, well... The problem was is whenever we would come up with a great idea to brainstorm, um, we would basically get derailed. Yes. Because yes. whenever we would begin to talk about it, we would go off on a tangent, mm-hmm. and then nothing ever really got accomplished. That is very so, true. So, yeah. That is very true. So, instead of doing a uh, brainstormers, mm-hmm. we are now the brain wreck. The brain wreck. Because uh, it, it's more fitting. Vodcast. To... Our general way of conversation. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> I've had multiple concussions. <laughs> so my my attention span, my focus is all over the place oh, anyway. Yeah. yeah. S- some people have labeled me as insane. Th- that's fair. Uh, I Well, I mean, uh, what was the text I sent you this morning? Um, Oh, it was weird, man. Like I was concerned. Oh yeah. Um, because what did you, I? I'm gonna I need to pull that up. I exactly. sent up a text this morning. It has relevance. I swear, it does. To to either something I was thinking about, something I was I was talking about. I oh, think- you you wanted to talk about how you just can't keep up anymore. Yes, and we'll get to that. We'll <laughs> okay. Get to that. So you also wanted to know if I still had my Riddler costume, which I never got a clear understanding as to why you asked that question. Okay, and we'll get to that as well. Okay, I, cool. I, I guess. Well, well, that'll be that'll be an antidote. A- a- an antidote. Sound it out. An- <laughs> antidote <laughs> for the end. I sure, guess. we'll go with we'll, that. We'll end on that, I guess. <laughs> so. um so yeah, so we were doing that, and wh- where the fuck was I? I, yeah, no- I don't know. <laughs> this is this is the problem. It, we you every time every show you go into these things, and then I, you, like you're just clear, you know, stream of consciousness when you speak, and then I'm gone with the wind. Ladies you're and gone. Yes, you are. Well, the one thing you can never you can never call me is is someone who a holds their tongue no. on, on anything. <laughs> Uh, and B, as someone that uh, as someone that doesn't speak their mind, is that the same thing? 
<laughs> More or less, yes. Okay. Um, I don't lie. Either. I feel like you know, someone who doesn't hold their tongue is often, you know, somebody who will have an outburst. Doesn't necessarily mean that they'll speak their mind, uh, but okay, you know, gotcha. and in the moment, they're okay. they're not willing to remain re- remain silent. Rather, okay. Yeah, I mean that's fair. Yeah, I suppose. So. <laughs> So we have a new show. I we guess, have a new I guess, show. I guess this, this is, is where we're, is like we're pretty much up. where we're going. So for those of you that did watch us on Facebook for Brainstormers, mm-hmm. uh, I think we're going to now be a YouTube exclusive. A YouTube exclusive. YouTube exclusive. I mean, we'll cross promote. Yeah, that, and, that sort of you know, thing. But one be of the, where all the hip kids are. The general ideas for switching to the YouTube platform is that we want to put out more content. Yeah other than just the weekly podcast. Mm-hmm. So you can expect uh, more videos coming out from us uh, throughout the week. Please subscribe yes. to our channel. That way you can get all the updates of all the videos that we're going to do, uh, all the ideas that weren't really brainstormy ideas, but we but still wanted to do. more fun than what we had originally set up, <laughs> which, yeah. which I think is what like the big thing came down to was the fact that you know, we would come up with all these great ideas for brainstormers, but then we'd come up with even better ideas mm. to do on the show. Right. Which, we like, stuff that we really wanted to do, like doing live stream video games, doing Let's Plays, doing more video commentaries for movies and stuff. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of Whatever stuff. Whatever we wanted to. But it, nothing ever fit the format of what the show was intentionally <laughs> supposed was to be. Supposed yeah. To be. Yeah. So, so uh, we're, we are uh, not... Uh, what, what do they call it? Not uh, held down by pigeon toed. Pi- n- n- no. P- pigeon held. Pigeon. <laughs> pigeon hold. <laughs> carrier pigeon. Car- yeah, we're not carrier. We're pigeon not carrier pigeon by any format. By by our previous format. Yeah. So now, and what this podcast is going to be the weekly podcast that we are going to do live this, yes, on YouTube. This will be a thing. Thing is is going to be, and I'm sure if you listen to the previous podcast, it's going to be more open format. It's going to be more yeah. uh, uh, talking, stories, things of that nature. Flying by the seam of our pants, if you will. Or seat. Or seat, whichever you prefer. Exactly. So, anyway, <laughs> so let's dive into it. So, I had sent you a text this morning yeah. about how I went and I saw, over the weekend, Guardians of the Galaxy what 2. What did you think? Um, well, we'll get to that in a second. Oh, um, oh, oh okay. But, but the thing is, like, <laughs> now for those of you that are just tuning in for the first time, uh, I am a, a huge comic book fan, as you can tell by the paraphernalia. Mm. Uh, Kevin Graham is as well. Yeah. But more of the genre than the actual. M- more of the genre than the physical. Uh, paper copies, paper copy. if, if you will. Yeah. I'm more of a paper copy guy. Uh, I'm, I am I do not do Marvel. Uh, I don't do mutants. You don't do mutants. Uh, so... Take that as as what you will. Yeah, you know, to each their own. Won't do them. So I'm a DC guy through and through. Yeah. So Guardians of the Galaxy, it's one of those things where I really enjoyed the first one. Mm-hmm. I saw the first one at a drive-in theater. Uh, yeah. Uh, so great experience watching the first one. But the second one, it was one of those things where I've got kids. <laughs> so, like, trying yeah. to take kids to any movie is is it's, it's you you have to plan ahead you have to plan ahead as somebody who has been in a theater you know with people who have brought their kids mm-hmm. um i know from experience that wow they really should have planned ahead yeah no for, for yeah. sure what you really need is you need uh obviously yourself yep you need your kids yep <laughs> yeah, and, you, you wouldn't need your kids <laughs> and, and you need you need a a a person with you who is not really that interested in the movie. Yeah. So when the kids start screaming, they can take them the hell out of the theater right. kind of thing. Yeah. So that's typically my wife. And even though she probably is normally interested <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> that that responsibility, I'm assuming, falls on her. I'm usually too invested in the movie to yeah. listen to the kids scream. Mm-hmm. And she's the observant one. Uh, who has not had brain damage, <laughs> so she understands that they are annoying the shit out of everybody around us, yeah, yeah. and thusly does that. But anyway, I digress. So, went to the movie, right? Mm-hmm. And or no, we rented the movie. Oh, you and rented the we movie. We rented the oh, movie. Oh, okay. At home yeah, because it just came out. Because it just came out, yeah. and it's one of those things too where we watched the first one, and I was watching, you know, kind of like the opening, not necessarily the opening scene, but where like a Ronin like bashes the dude's skull in and like the blood comes out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. This isn't really child appropriate. 
I wouldn't I mean, say. N- no, murder is typically not, you know, child friendly. Right. However, in the realm of other things, it's quite tame, I would say. Oh, for sure. For sure. For a PG- not not murder, but the the scene in question. The, the scene in question, yeah. I mean, it's not like they, they it's not like the walking dead or anything like that. No. no. So, you know, it was one of those things where I was like, I'm glad I saw it ahead of time. Yeah. Because I don't think my five year old could have handled that. Yeah. So I'm glad we didn't see that, it in the theater. That, that'd be intense. That would be intense. Um, but, so, I I knew that going in this time. Yeah. So, me and the wife watched it when the kids were, were in bed, mm-hmm. right? So, we rented the movie, and we watched it, and yeah, it was good. It yeah. Was, it was, was a good, good. movie. Um, there is one thing, uh, continuity-wise, oh. that bugged the shit out of me. Oh, please do tell. Now, I don't know if you picked up on this. Okay. And I don't know- if anybody else picked up on this either. But it's something that I definitely picked up on. Okay. And I want to show you. Now, we're all familiar with all the characters of the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? So Yeah. So when Guardians of the Galaxy 2 comes in and Daryl's brother shows up on the screen, look like he fucked the blueberry girl from Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, okay. I had a bit of an issue because... I had remembered the last movie. Yeah. And guess what? He's a different shade of blue in this movie. That's your biggest gripe. Than the last movie. It bugged the living shit out of me. Really? The living shit out of me. He is a completely, he's like fluorescent blue in this movie. I mean, yeah, it was kind of clear. I took it as they were using a different like color palette. For the film, like the movie seemed to be more vibrant. I guess which is true. However, it it, it she in the first <laughs> in the first movie, yeah, he was not the same color as Gamora's sister. Correct. In he, the second movie, they were the exact same color. I I would say yeah. So with that being said, not only that, but. In Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the the pussification of the character <laughs> on top of, like, I could understand that they did that and he wasn't going to be the main fucking story mm-hmm. of this gimmick. Yeah. But because he was, and because he was the different shade, I was just like, man, this is tough. Really? This is really That's tough. what puts you out of this it. This is really tough for me. You know, at first I didn't even notice it. Really? Uh, it really? was one of those things where I think I read something online, and then I was like, oh, yeah, I guess that was you know pretty true. Um, honestly, though, like, I, why was that a thing you focused on? Because it was so glaring. Really? It was so glaring. It, hmm. Like, because even in the scene where they were at the um, – uh, they were locked in the prison. Yeah. Um, man, he just – it was, he was just a, so blue. He was a so, he was like a thumb that was about to fall off. He was so so. All right. A, what do they call that? Uh, um, An amputee. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's probably correct. But overall, you thought the movie was stuck fine. out like a sore thumb. That before. that was the analogy I was going for. But he was blue, <laughs> so that okay. you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, I no, I got you. But and also at the end, which kind of bugged me as well. Is they didn't they didn't set up for anything? Um, I don't think they had to. The only thing they kind of set up is that the gold people were still pissed, and then they were making the atom. You're gonna uh, get thing and uh, see. Here's the thing, and because knowing what the future holds, well, of course, if you haven't seen the trailer for the Avengers. Mm. They didn't need to set anything up for the Avengers because there's going to be a sequence. I would say probably the post credit scene for Thor is going to involve the Guardians. That could be. And this is a hypothetical. You know, this is this is a total you're, guess. You're not dropping any. I'm news. not drop. Hey, I'm. Not, <laughs> I got no fucking news. <laughs> <laughs> it's complete. It's a it's a complete theory based on the trailer that came out around the time of Comic Con. Right. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if they use part of it as a post credit tease in Thor. Okay. Because I think something's going to happen in Thor that's going to directly connect him to the Guardians. 
Yeah, I mean that would yeah. make sense. So th- you didn't need anything set up for with Guardians of the Galaxy to f- follow up the next movie because you're not going to get Guardians three for a couple of years still. You still have two Avengers movies be- before the next Guardians movie. I mean that's fair, but they could have also done something in the post credits to set up Thor maybe. Mm-hmm. If that's going to be the next branch that they're branching off I mean, off that would have been cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they necessarily – again, it's one of those things I don't think they necessarily needed to. I think with whatever the setup for Adam Warlock is gonna was, like mm-hmm. I think that's like the big thing for them sure. okay. going into the future. Yeah, it was one of those things where uh, a great movie, a fantastic soundtrack. They knocked it out of the fucking park again. The more I listen to it, the more I enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, story-wise, is not as strong as the first, I don't think. I would say, I mean, it's a very different story. Mm-hmm. You know, the first movie was very much like an action-adventure comedy. Sure. Um, well, it was the team meetup. It's it was like the team gotta, meetup, and yeah, characters. but I mean, like, it there, there was... There was a much bigger call to adventure, is what and I'm holy saying. holy shit, Dave Bautista, all he had to do was sit on that fucking set and laugh. Right. That's yeah. all he had to do in that fucking yeah. movie. Um, holy Christ. This movie, you know, I didn't mind the story that they told. Um, kind of the personal struggle of, you know, my, you know, the relationship of me with those around me, like that sort of thing. Sure. And then, you know, the father issues between Quill and Ego. Um I didn't mind it as much. You know, it was okay. I, thought, I, thought, I still thought it was fine. Um, one thing, and this is something that Christy had brought up. Sure. One of the issues that she had, and I kind of did as like the more I watched it, there's a lot of tonal issues where they're getting very close to being like very serious at parts, mm-hmm. and then they immediately pull you out with like a comedic beat. Yeah. Um,. I, I could definitely see that. Yeah. I did think that the opening credit sequence was genius. I f- fucking love that. Genius. Yeah. Uh, not showing the fight that's happening yeah. in the background. Absolutely genius. Yeah. But I could see what she's saying. I mean, there's some there's some spots where you you could have a real moment here. You could have had a real moment, but that you know, like when Quill and Ego are fighting. And they become the giant rock monsters, and they're, like, charging at one another, and then Quill's the giant Pac-Man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, like, you know, haha, funny, but, like... I mean, that I, I was okay with that just because it was a callback to something that happened It, it was movie. a callback, which I got, too, but... But the thing that was missing in that movie, which they've been successful before with, mm-hmm. is when, when Ego says that he gave his mom cancer. Oh, yeah. Like... That scene should have punched me in the gut mm-hmm. the same way Tony Stark finding out that Bucky shot his mom. Oh, yeah. But it didn't have the same effect. It didn't. It didn't. And I don't know if that's a magic of Robert Downey Jr. thing because he made that thing work so fucking well or if it's just that I thought it didn't fit the movie. I felt it at first, but then they went for the laugh. Mm-hmm. because you had that moment where, like, I mean, instantaneously he finds out when he says, you know, and then I put that tumor in your mother's head, and Quill just goes guns blazing. Right. First moment I was like, oh, shit. But then... Well, he was still in the trance thing, right? But he comes out. He comes out so because like, of that. So, like, I felt that moment, but then they immediately pull you out of it when they show David Hasselhoff. Right, right, right. So I was like, ah, oh, you, you, like, you had us, and then you just... I, I, think, uh. I think, yeah, they went a little too hard yeah. with it. I could have you. I mean, the first one has a great comedic tone to mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And I think they were like, well, that worked the first time, so yeah. let's, let's do it but, the second but time. But the, the serious moments in the first one held you, though. That's true. Like, I mean, the the whole opening sequence. Well, it tears your fucking heart tears out. Tears your heart out. And then even the scene at the end when they're fighting Ronan and he has, like, the vision of his mom. Right. Like, it just pulls you right back in. Now, what did you think about the actress that played his mom in the second film? Because she bugged me. It was the same woman. I know, but I didn't like her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I, I didn't have a problem with her better with it. when she was dying. I mean, I don't know. First off, I didn't see her as a blonde, so that really kind of threw me. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, uh, not only that, but like she was singing Brandy really terrible. 
So, <laughs> like, that threw me, too. <laughs> it was actually funny because <laughs> um, when the movie starts and, like, th- that whole opening scene with Kurt Russell, who I found out later was not CGI'd. Mm. Like, that was all straight-up makeup. Oh, nice. And I, I, I leaned over to Chris, and I was like, oh, my God, he looks like a young Kurt Russell. <laughs> And she's like, what? And I'm like, it looks just like young Kurt Russell. Right. Like, like spot on. And then she's like, but what? Wait, who is that? And I'm like, that's Kurt Russell. Russell. She's <laughs> like, no, I know, but why? But why? And yeah, so. <laughs> they did a good job. I, they, they, did a, they did a great they job. They did a good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so now this kind of brings in the part of the conversation where, okay. I, where I texted you was now- Guardians of the Galaxy has been out. That came out like beginning of May. Beginning of May. Yeah, so it's been a couple months. Been a couple months. Yeah. And I was thinking about it. I was like, all right, I've seen Guardians of the Galaxy finally. And I'm like, man, a younger me <laughs> would not have waited this long. No, oh, no. <laughs> to see Guardians of the Galaxy. And I was thinking about it. It's like, I haven't seen Wonder Woman. Mm. I haven't seen Spider Man. Mm. I haven't seen the Netflix stuff. I mean, I've seen. Some of it I haven't watched Iron Fist. I haven't Ooh. watched um the you Defenders. I I'll say this though. Um some of that stuff you can pass. Just But can I though? Yeah, I mean I can give you like a, a run through of Iron Fist so you never have to watch it. But the thing is, like, if I don't watch it, am I missing something on the Defenders? No. <laughs> You're not. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I guess that's good. We to could know. do like we could do story time with Graham, <laughs> you know, at some point here soon because I because because I can read you the tale of Iron Fist by Netflix. <laughs> mm. I see. Um. Um. But yeah. But the, the whole the whole kind of point is, there was a time where when this stuff came out. I mean, and it wasn't that long ago. It was only it was only a couple <laughs> years ago. Where when this stuff came out, yeah, I was opening day. Sure, I sure. I was, I was right fucking on that shit. I mean, to be there, and now it's, and and I, and to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, because I have an idea of what the reason could be. Okay, but, but I'm interested to know what you think the reason is. Well, here's the thing. I mean it. To be fair, it very well could be me, but I don't think it's me. You don't think it's me. And here's, here's why. I I am a father. Yes. I, like that's... I have children. Uh-huh. I work a full-time job. Yeah. I am also going to school. Yeah. As well. Mm-hmm. I am a busy man. Yes, you are. On top of doing this podcast every week. Um, subscribe. But... <laughs> Also, previously, I mean, I've been a father for a while. Yeah. But I was still able to do some shit and still able okay. to see these things. The 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 problem I think is there is too much. I mean, I feel like you were onto something a minute ago. <laughs> but, okay. you know, I yes, there is too much. There's like, too much. However, you don't need to consume it all. Hmm. I don't know about that though. <laughs> Here here's the thing. Though. Okay. So Netflix Netflix original programming yeah. really hit its stride uh, starting about two years ago, I would say. I'd say two, three years ago. Two, yeah. three years ago, right? It's when they really started getting the original content. It's yeah. really when they fucking changed the face of everything. I think they set out to be more than at the time a rental a, a company that did video rentals. Correct. And essentially became a whole media conglomerate. Yes, absolutely. And the thing is like at the time I was like, "Oh, this is excellent." You know, we get these series. You can binge watch it. Yeah. That became a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, series no longer had to be, you know, a two-hour movie. They can be a seven-hour series. Yeah. And you can really dive in there. The problem is I had budgeted in my life for a two-hour movie. Yeah. And now I have to budget for seven hours. 
and a brother ain't got seven hours. All right, there ain't no. enough. There ain't enough time in the day. No, for that kind of stuff. So, the thing is, I think people are are, especially the entertainment industry, is worried about how these services, these TV series, everything like that, is going to be the death of the movie industry. Mm-hmm. And I say no. No, absolutely not. No, there's always going to be a guy like me mm-hmm. that has only the budgeted time for two hours. Yeah, and they will always go to see that movie. Oh yeah, absolutely. Over starting a Netflix series in which they're already ten season in, and then I've got to play catch up, and yeah. then they do some plot twists I don't <laughs> like, and then I have to fucking give up on the series. Plus, and, then... and I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of romanticized at this point, but I think the just act of going to a movie theater and just everything involved, basically like the overall experience, Mm -hmm. you know, you can't get that when you sit on your couch watching Netflix. I mean, you could, if you have, (laughs) if you have the funds to do so, you can make your own Right. You can do surround sound. You can pay uh, somebody to move your seat for you. Sometimes it's just nice to get out of the house. It it is nice to get out of the house. My wife will tell you it is very nice to get out of the house but anyway um what was my point you you only have a I only budget have a of two amount, hours yeah, yeah right. so you only have so a two hour two budget. hours of the day now the problem is uh there are some quality programming over on the netflix there is i'm running into a situation coming up yeah this october it, it's a horrible situation i don't i wouldn't wish it on um, friends i wouldn't wish it on my children <laughs> My nephews, my cousins, my <laughs> uncle, uh, but maybe my enemies. Yeah. Possibly. Possibly them. But the gimmick is Stranger Things 2 yeah. drops mm-hmm. October 27th. Yes. This motherfucker goes on vacation October 28th. So you have a dilemma. I have a dilemma. I'm already taking two weeks off of work, yeah. so I cannot take an additional day to binge watch Stranger Things. True. And the brother feels like if I do not watch Stranger Things, something's going to get spoiled. Well, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. So you're working. I'm assuming you're working the day before. That is correct. Okay. So what time do you get out of work? I get out of work at 430. Okay. So now, so that's the 27th. 27th, yes. And Stranger Things launches on the 27th. 27th, yep. So you get out of work at 4.30. Let's say you're home by 5. Yes. There's probably, I think they slated this as like a 12-episode season, 12, 13 episodes. Oh, really? I thought it was only eight. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, this makes it worse. So, so <laughs> okay. And now what time is your flight? Oh, like 6 a.m. Okay. So you have 11 hours. From the time you get home until the time you, well, no, because if your flight's at 6 a.m., you want to get to the airport. Five. Okay, so we'll call it 10 hours. Okay. So you have 10 hours. With that 10 hours, you do realize that you could binge watch the majority of the season. Well, here's the problem. Okay. And this is a problem you wouldn't understand. Oh. Brothers got kids. Yeah, I know you got kids. Stranger Things ain't appropriate for kids. Well. You just have to weigh the trauma of your children and with how much you want to watch Stranger Things. That's a fair assessment. <laughs> um, and the, the 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 surprising part is that Stranger Things might win out here. Now, I, will, I will say this. <laughs> My daughter, yeah, yeah. who is turning six next week, okay, six years old, yeah. right? They just recently opened up here where we live. The Spirit Halloween yeah, shops, yeah. right? Have you been yet? Uh, no. Have not been yet. So we we are kind of Halloween fanatics mm-hmm. at this house. So we were just like, oh, this is this is like date night. We're going out to the Halloween store. <laughs> like we're having a good old time, right? <laughs> okay. So we walk in, and last year, around this this time when the Spirit stores started popping uh-huh. up, my daughter got completely freaked out about the animatronics. Oh, yeah. Those used to scare the shit out of me when I was Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. they're terrifying, Like, like right? Chuck E. Cheese? Oh, I cannot go to Chuck E. Cheese. You won't go to Chuck E. Cheese? No, I couldn't. I can well, go now because I'm an Well, technically, I can't go now because I'm an adult. But if I went, I wouldn't be as freaked out. Well, to be fair, recently, the decision was made to remove all animatronics from Chuck E. Cheese. So, it's a safer place to be now. <laughs> I might find a child and go someday. 
Oh, he's going to find a child? <laughs> Why not? Is there Uber for children? <laughs> You can just rent a child. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. No. Like, if you really wanted to go into like the play place at like fucking uh, Chick Fil A or some shit. Chick Fil A's got a play place. Yeah, I got a play place. Can I say something real quick? Sure. That might you, give me heat. Yeah. Okay. Overrated. Oh boy, you better not go upstairs, my mm. friend. I'm staying down here the rest of my life. <laughs> well, clean the cat box, would you? <laughs> but yeah, the wife loves Chick Fil A. Yeah. So. But okay, so okay, so back to the dilemma. Oh, wait. Well, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you got to tell your spirit I gotta, story. I got my spirit okay. story. So, anyway. So, we go into spirit. Yeah. And um, immediately, she's bawling. Oh, okay. Like, she does not want to go in. Yeah. And, of course, you know, we just egg her on. With that, we're doing <laughs> that. As responsible parents typically do. Yeah. So, we yeah. walk in, and the first thing we see is this giant werewolf animatronic, right? Mm-hmm. And she's screaming. Yeah. Like, and keep in mind. It's like the first week of September. There's no way too early for this. There's too. nobody yeah. in this store. Yeah. Because nobody's thinking about it yet. So we're in there. Literally, it's us and the clerk uh-huh. that's working it. And she's screaming her sure. full head off. So I have to carry her because uh-huh. she won't go any further no, without yeah. it. So we walk around the store. You know, we go, we check out. The adult superhero costumes mm-hmm. and stuff like that, and they do have a Riddler suit, and we'll get to that at the end of the show. Okay, but then you know we go over to the the kids section. She looks around. She's starting to warm up a little bit. She's yeah. starting to feel a little bit better. And then we take her to kind of the back of the store mm. where they have four animatronics, like fully set, yeah. staged, ready to go, right there at the at, in the back of the store. And she's just like, I don't want to go over there. Nope. And I'm just like, why? What's wrong? I've been there before. And and she's like, I don't want to go over there. Nope. And I'm like, well, what if I go with you? And she's like, nope. Nope. Not going to do Cause it. Because she probably thought you were going to throw her into it. Maybe. <laughs> and so the wife goes over, and she starts hitting the buttons and making them go. Uh-huh. And she's starting to piss her pants a little bit. Not literally, but, you know, figuratively. figuratively. So, and the wife is like, oh, see, they're fine. And she starts touching them or yeah. whatever the case may be. And just to show her that it's not real and that kind of thing to try to get over it does not work. No. There's no help in this kid. She has freaked the fuck out. Mm-hmm. So what ends up happening is on the other side of the animatronics are all the masks. Uh, and yeah. they have like really fun masks. There's like a bunny and like a, a horse head sure. and like all that kind of shit. And she's like, I want to go over there. And I'm like, okay, we'll go over there. And she's like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, what do you. What can we do here? And it turns out that I had to go and get, like, a blindfold to put over her. Because if you can't see it, they can't <laughs> get you. That's how it works. It's how it it's works. It's how it works. So I put a blindfold on her, walk her over yeah. to the mask section, unblindfold her. She plays around in the mask, and then I'm like, all right, you know, at this point I've lost my patience already, <laughs> you know. I don't have much patience to begin with, and then, you know, we're in here. We're not uh-huh. we're not going to buy anything, no, so it's just tooling just looking, around, yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. So I'm like, all right, I'm hungry, I'm tired, let's go. So, and I'm, and I'm already walking, and she's, mm-hmm. she's frozen. She yeah. won't move, that kind of thing. So she's like, Daddy, come get me. And I'm like, no, come on. Like, I'm, I'm not having it anymore. I'm done. I'm like, come on, let's go. And she's like, no, come get me. And the wife, to her credit, fucking hilarious. Yeah. Sneaks up behind her. Oh, no. With one of those uh, um, plastic chainsaws. <laughs> no. That makes the noise. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Scared the shit out of her. Yeah. Literally cried till she got to the car. I, I could imagine. So, but but to be fair, once she did that, you know, she, you are she, mean people. Well, hold on, hold <laughs> on. She said she was sorry. Okay, well that she makes apologized. it. That makes it better. She said, you know, it is fake. It's only for fun, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. And I carried her, and I said I would never let anything happen to her, and that kind of stuff. And it's just for fun. But at the same time, it was fucking hilarious. It was a good time. <laughs> um, mean people. What are we doing? Your dilemma. D- okay, so back to uh, okay. So your dilemma. Things. So. You have about 10 hours before 10 hours between the time you get home and the time you got to leave. You have kids, so you might not be able to watch it throughout the entire time you're home. Right. So what time do the kids go down? 
Uh, about seven thirty. Okay. Seven thirty ish. The little one can probably. Well, he doesn't. He can care. manage. He, yeah. He, as long no, as he's got a banana. Yeah, it's like shit. nothing registers until you're a couple of years older. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. I mean, I don't have any memories. Yeah, exactly. You know. Period. Could... <laughs> so, okay, we'll call it, you've got, you know, we'll say like nine hours. Okay. Nine hours of watching. Yep. So, boom. And then you're at the airport, five o'clock. You have. Side note. Oh, Jesus. Really quick. <laughs> at Spirit Halloween. The sheriff from Stranger Things costume. Yeah. Same thing as Rick Grimes. Exact same thing. Well, we, yeah. They they, 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 they switched yeah. out the badge. 100%. Continue. Okay. So you get to the airport. If your flight's at 6, you're probably not going to have a lot of time to probably not. hang out. Do you have a layover? No, it's a it's Oh, a direct. direct flight. So what oh. time do you get in? <laughs> uh, t- 10, 30, 11. 10, 30, 11 like o'clock. Okay, then what time do you get to your hotel? Oh, probably about noon. Okay. Noon. So, and then what do you plan to do for the rest of that day? Well, we are going to Disney. Okay. Uh, so what time? I just told you. Like right away? Well, yeah. You want well, what they well, have? Well, hold on. Okay. Let, let me educate a brother oh, here. Oh. <laughs> so when you go to Disney and you stay on property and you shell out the big bucks to yep. Mr. Mouse, the head cheese, whatever, what have you, <laughs> um, when you arrive at Orlando International Airport, uh-huh. they have what is called... Magical Express. Oh. And let me tell you, it's kind of okay. It, it ain't that magical. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's free, so yeah. that's kind of awesome. That's so what, cool. What they do is they provide a bus shuttle from you, from the airport, directly uh-huh. to your resort. Right. So when you get to How your How long resort, is the shuttle? Uh, it's, it's about... 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, so enough to watch three quarters of an episode of Stranger Things. Here's the thing, though. Oh, like, there's a thing. Well, huh. not only that, but you get on the plane, right? And you've been on a plane recently, I would say. Recently. Yeah, so As of like, two weeks ago. So you get on the plane, and they're like, please shut off all your fucking electronics. Until well, the who are you flying? Window. Uh, Jet Blue. Oh, they got Wi Fi? They do. Oh, free Wi Fi? Free Wi Fi. So I'm saying that's going to be like, what, a two hour, three hour flight? About three and a half. Okay, so three and a half. So that's like what? Three episodes of Stranger Things? However, you have to remember the kids. Because, yes, the Mm five-year-old, six-year-old, whatever the fuck, (laughs) has her own seat. Yeah. The infant does not. Uh Uh-huh. So it is a lap infant. He's a lap infant. Yes. Okay. And let me tell you, lap infants grab everything. You got a tablet? It's going to grab it. You got a a computer? You you got to give him his own tablet. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't want his own thing. He wants what you have. So you got to do like a bait and switch. You got to give him the tablet with the Stranger Things and then hold on to the dead one. So he wants to play with the one that doesn't work. Well, meanwhile, the one that's got the Stranger Things on it just sits calmly. But, but the thing with the Stranger Things on it is moving. It has something to grab his attention to. The one that is dead is dead. So you put, you put, the, you put the working one on the back of the seat that's in front of you. Seems like a lot of work. I feel like your commitment to watch Stranger Things just doesn't exist. I'm just saying. I feel like. I'm just saying, why the fuck do you have to come out the day before my vacation is what I'm trying to say. (laughs) I'm trying to. Hey, I'm trying to give you a path to greatness here. I have considered uh, staying up from from the time I get home to. Because what are you going to be doing all day? Traveling? Well, traveling, but then I get. But the thing is, I get in at Disney so early. Yeah. Like, I could do shit when I get to Disney, but I'm going to be so tired. From watching Stranger Things. Do you have okay? So are you gonna go on any rides? Not that day. Not that day. Not okay. That so day. like, what are you doing in Disney that day? That day is kind of a explore the resort. We okay. are going to Disney Springs. Haven't you been there enough to where you've done enough exploring? I've been there a lot. Okay. Um, How much exploring do you need to do? Still a lot. Really? There's a lot to do there. Ha- like, are there parts that you have not seen yet? Oh, absolutely. Really? There's a. How many I, times have you been there? I've been there in the past. Let's see. My dad died in 14. We went in 14. It's 17. Three years. Yeah. That was some quick math. Uh, <laughs> I've been there four times in three years. Okay. So so you've only been there four times. Four four times in three years. But they are extended stays. Okay. Like they are decent, decent time stays. So I would say out of all of Disney World. Mm-hmm. So you got your four parks. You got the numerous hotels. Yeah. And then you got downtown Disney, mm-hmm. right? I say I have probably seen 40%. Okay. So there's still 60% of Walt Disney World That's, I have not seen. Okay. 
think you can knock that out in an afternoon? Uh, maybe. I'd, I'd say give yourself but a challenge. So, give yourself a goal. But I'm Shoot so from tired stuff. from Stranger Things. But again, you got to weigh your tiredness with how much you want to watch Stranger Things. That's very true. Uh, I mean, I could give in to my uh, recent addiction <laughs> and uh, maybe uh, kill myself by doing it. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think about that? Um, I mean, try coffee instead of sugary Here's the thing, energy folks. I'm, I'm currently addicted to energy drinks. <laughs> it is a multiple time a day uh, energy shot, energy yeah. drink, caffeine, whatever the fuck. I, I've gotten to the point now where it doesn't do anything for me. Well, yeah, because you're becoming like your body is just dependent on it, but yes. it's not doing anything. It's just like, I need this. And your body's like, but why? I've gotten to the state where, uh, I mean, as we, if you've listened to this this vlog cast um, or whatever we're calling it, uh, I I do so much, yeah, that I am I am now no matter how much caffeine intake I have, mm-hmm. I am constantly tired, yeah, always tired. Well, if you stop drinking the caffeine too, you'll you'll probably stop crashing. But it's not a crash. Mm-hmm. I never get going. Like the, so you're you're just getting pulled down further though. The the caffeine is basically like a maintain. Yeah. Like if I wake up, so so I wake up in the morning. If I, if I'm lucky, I've had two three hours sleep, mm-hmm. if, if that. So I I wake up. So so if I'm asleep, I I wake up and I'm like here. Yeah. And then I'm going along, going along, going along. I have my breakfast. Yeah. I have start my first energy drink. I'm kind of like peaking a little bit. Mm-hmm. But then I'm slowly coasting down. Gotcha. And then I slowly coast down until I get that next caffeine, and then mm-hmm. I kind of baseline. Sure. Again. Yeah. To whereas when I was a younger man back in the day, mm-hmm. when I first got ad- addicted to caffeine, is because of fucking Dunkin' Donuts and their goddamn Sobe Coladas. If you remember that from back in the day, you <laughs> no. were a goddamn champion. <laughs> but I used to pound those fucking things, yeah. and, and it was like from. Normal, I mean, oh God, this must have been when I was 17, 18, okay. something like that. So, so still no, full of piss and vinegar. Uh, full of piss and vinegar. If I'm like here, full of piss and vinegar, <laughs> so be quiet. We're just like, God damn it. <laughs> Let's fucking do some shit. Let's get some shit done kind of thing. Yeah. And now, if, if this is teen, yeah. fuck, and then this is all the way the fuck up here, I'm like, <sighs> just, yeah. Fuck my life. Just get through. <laughs> Through everyday you shit. Need, you, you need to give up the energy drinks. I do. You need to, like, just... But, but, get... what, but like, but the thing is, like, uh, with, with, with alcohol, you go cold turkey, you die, like Winehouse. So, I don't think you're going to die from not taking energy drinks. You might, drinks. though. Like, there's science. Science does exist, but I don't think it works that way. If you're a scientist... If you're a scientist... <laughs> And you want to weigh in on this? Uh, I this would say this. Brain you don't. You don't like. Com. You don't like coffee. I. Here's the thing. Like, I went through this kind of kind of same thought process mm-hmm. a year ago. Yeah. And I said, God damn it, I'm gonna switch over to coffee. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the switch. And holy Christ, it was horrible. It, well, like, yeah. and but I found a coffee that's okay to to my taste buds. Like, okay. It's um, it's the Starbucks cinnamon dolce. Don't don't no coffee. don't don't drink that shit. But like, because all you're doing is drinking sugar now. But no, that's the thing. It's not. It's not sugar. Is it not though? It, it's not sugar because was it aspartame? I don't know. But, <laughs> but I, I have a Keurig, right? Okay, yeah, brother's got a Keurig. So that's the that's the Keurig shot. Uh-huh. It's cinnamon dolce. Coffee. Okay. Right? So I'm just, I'm assuming, because I don't know any better, and fuck God, no, I'm you... not going to do any research, is that it's coffee with, like, ground ground cinnamon yeah. in it, and, like, like that's that's You need to just be drinking, natural. you need to just be drinking plain coffee. I can't do it. Why? Because. I used I... to not be able to do it, too. And then I just started doing it one day. So, so you're, you're like a mind over matter I was, you know what? I need to pick me up right now, and I feel like this coffee will do it. And I drank it. I'm like, that tasted like dirt, mm-hmm. but I need another one. And then I, it, it became 
a regular routine. And that's, I mean, my mother drinks probably somewhere around 12 cups a day okay. of pure black yeah. coffee. That, that's the way to go. No sugar. Nope. No, no sugar, nothing, no creamer. N- nothing like Straight that. Straight up coffee. I don't know how she does it. Like, it's just, you just do it. Like, when I'm on the road or something like that, and I'm about to go over to her house, and I'm like, hey, I'm stopping at, like, Duncan, what do you want? She's yeah. like, I want a large black double D. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that for you, but. Um, I drank a pot of coffee. I drank an entire pot of black coffee the other night. Yeah? Yeah. Did she get shit done? I mean, I wasn't doing shit. <laughs> I just didn't. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was I didn't I wasn't really doing anything to begin with, but right. it was like seven thirty, and I was like, "Damn, I should not be this tired right now." Because it was like, well, "I'm just so tired." You, you I'm just so tired. You don't all have time, the time to take a nap. I don't have time you to need nap. To, you, I don't have time to sleep. Need, I don't have time to do anything. It's you. You gotta change your diet. You gotta drink more coffee. Well, well hold the fuck up. Who said anything about my diet? You, you, Are you, you trying to you, tell me you something? You texted me a photo of you eating a can of fucking Chef Boyardee the other day, asking me where it all went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so don't tell me. I mean, okay. That I shouldn't be questioning you. That really did happen. <laughs> but it was more... <sighs> See, I had been drinking. <laughs> And like I, it was it was one of those things where I hadn't really eaten. Yeah. And there was nothing in the house. You got Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I snagged a, a can of of, of Chef Boyardee. Was I proud about it? No. <laughs> it but was, it was a shame can. It it definitely was. Like I was not happy. And and I think I texted you and said, you know, I used to be somebody. Yeah. Like you know, I was at one time, you know, somebody to be respected. Yeah. Not, not anymore. I don't, well, I don't know. I think you're selling yourself <laughs> short. <laughs> not by drinking she- or eating Chef Boyardee. Sure. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> but, I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, th- and let- this might jump off on okay. another fucking tangent, but, you know, that's kind of what the show is yeah. now. But, like, it is so fucking expensive to be healthy. I don't always agree. Really? I don't always agree with that. What do you mean? I feel it's not okay, cuz here's the thing. Yeah. You can you can still eat healthy and maintain a budget. Okay. I mean there are there are cheaper alternatives to okay. a lot of stuff that's out there that's still healthy. Okay. You know, like just because something's a buck doesn't mean it's going to be loaded with sugar. You just got to find the right stuff. You got to shop at the right places. Oh, where are you shopping? Oh, I hit up Aldi's like a motherfucker. Aldi's? Really? Aldi's, yeah. Okay. So and the other some, thing. Some day old uh, clams? Some day old clams. No, but like, you know, loading up on rice or even couscous, loading up on vegetables. See, that's carbs, brother. You can't. Yeah, but those are good carbs. Rice is not good carbs. Yeah, I mean, it's filler, but if you portion properly. It's a filler. Fill at night. I am poor as fuck and I can't afford <laughs> anything. Do you portion? I mean, I used to. <laughs> I'm I'm on an overstuffed portion right now. I brother, see, but, and that's yeah. the other thing too, because that 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 is something I came to the realization the other day mm-hmm. is I'm eating healthy, but I'm not portioning my meals properly. Okay, that's fair. So, like, because you ever see on like well, TV, I mean, if you have twelve TV on steaks. You know, that's a lot of protein. It's a lot of protein, but you're probably gonna have a heart attack the next well, day. Well. Uh, so, like, have you seen those commercials for, like, Nutrisystem, like, like all those weight loss meal plan things? Sure, sure, sure. The reason why they work is because they're all portion control. Really? I thought, that, it, I thought it was because they were celebrity endorsed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I knew it was a Dan Marino can probably <laughs> make you lose a couple of LBs, but. <laughs> but, no, be. I'm saying that, like, all of that stuff is basically just portion control. Right. Like, you start with the portion control, and then you start changing the stuff up, and, like, really, you can lose weight super fast. Yeah. It's it's not difficult. Yeah, I, that's the thing is I actually got it on a system, uh, fuck, it was probably a year, year ago, mm-hmm. where it was a, it was a great system. Yeah. It worked for me. I lost 
like 10 pounds in a week. Yeah. But just by like eating the right stuff and, and doing the right portions. And, and this program told you exactly what to eat, when to eat it, how much to eat, all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, which is what I need. Like yeah. I'm that kind of person that like if you tell me that you need to eat fucking spinach at 10 p.m. every day or whatever the fuck, mm-hmm. I will do it. Yeah. And you just tell me how much and whatever the have you. I cannot afford it anymore. I could not afford it. Yeah, well, you can't do somebody, like, you have to do your own system. You can't buy into a system. As you buy into a system, it's going to get expensive. It's it's fucking crazy that the thing that worked, Mm -hmm. I can't do because I can't afford it. You got to do your own thing. (sighs) Take take their methods and do it your own way. But I'm the kind of guy, like I said, like, I need to be told what to do. Do you want me to tell you what to do? You need to tell me (laughs) what to do because I was eating, like, for lunch, I would have... Like five ounces of chicken uh-huh. with a cup of broccoli, uh-huh. some red potatoes. Probably didn't eat a cup of broccoli. Well, that you know, that's kind of what they they told me to do. Well, they they're probably lying because they want you to spend more on food. Oh, see, everybody's got motives. Everybody's got a motive. Everybody's got a motive. But fucking anyway, Dan Marino's got a motive. Fucking a, <laughs> the rings aren't enough, brother. I don't think he has any rings. Well, that's fair. He's an Ace Ventura, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that's, 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 that's enough of a ring. That's enough of a ring. Yeah. I'm sure that was awarded something. But, um, yeah, so, so a cup of broccoli. Yeah. And then I think it was like five ounces of, of uh, uh, red potato. Yeah. And I'm like, this is great. This is delicious. Yeah. You know, you eat it. You feel great. And then, but you have to remember, like, five ounces of chicken mm-hmm. for lunch every day for seven days. Yeah, you're buying a lot of chicken. You're buying a lot of chicken. Because you got to buy the right chicken. Not only do you have to buy the right chicken, but I'm also not buying for myself. I'm yeah. buying for the family. Yes, you are. A family of four. So you times everything by four on top of the people that are giving you the nutrition plan because they need to feed mm-hmm. as well. So holy shit. It's, just, it's too expensive mm. to eat in America. I'm talking about free health care. <laughs> I'm talking about somebody pay for my college. Where's Bernie Sanders? That's <laughs> what we all want to know. <laughs> Where is Bernie Sanders? <laughs> Where's my goddamn chicken? I don't know, man. I guess we're getting a, we're getting like a wall instead. If it was a chicken wall, I'd be <laughs> I'd be more apt. Yeah. But uh, apparently, we're still gonna pay for it. But anyway, we're anyways, not, we're not getting political on no. this fuck. But we, what are we? Where were we before this? I don't know. We, we were going very well. It was, okay. Yeah. All right. So anyway, it's too expensive to eat in America. And we're kind of getting towards the end of the show. So I think I'll, we'll wrap up with, okay. a little, with our little antidote that we started with at the beginning of the show. <laughs> antidote. Antidote to this whole show <laughs> so you'll forget about the whole thing ever happened. But so I texted you this morning. Yeah. That uh, did you have a Riddler costume? I, I, I did. I made my own a few years ago. You made ago. your own. Now, and you said, you know. You've kind of gotten a little swole. I've gotten slightly larger. Now, um, now is is that a good larger? It's a, it's a good larger. It's a good larger. You know, okay. There are areas which are a little bit larger than I'd like them to be, but that's due to my routine, I feel. Okay. Okay. But but you feel like at any point you could slim down to what you want to be or whatever the case may oh, be. Oh, if I wanted to slim down, yeah, I could do it. You could do it. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but anyway, so I asked you if you had a Riddler costume mm-hmm. and you said- Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. I have all the working parts. They just don't work for me. They don't work for you. Now, my daughter's birthday yeah. is coming up, mm-hmm. okay? So what she wanted, because her dad's such a super fan, yeah. I think, and you know, by proxy, she's a fan mm-hmm. as well. The theme for her birthday party was going to be DC Superhero Girls. Okay. Are you familiar with the DC Superhero Girls? I'm aware that it's a thing. It is a thing. It started off as a web series. Yeah. Then they did a couple, like, TV movies. And then they sold, like, a shit ton of toys. A shit, shit ton of toys, and now they had their own series on Cartoon yeah. Network. So she wanted to do DC Superhero Girls, which I was, like, proud Papa, yeah. 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 We're going to do that <laughs> shit goddamn right. And I came up with this idea where I was just like, man, like, we should really, like, like theme this fucker out. Like, sure. Like six year old birthday party is gonna be themed to the gills. Mm-hmm. She's gonna be the envy of all of her friends. Yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna really really do this. So I thought what would be awesome is, you know how typically like you have party games. Yeah. You know, you, uh, pin the tail on the donkey, mm-hmm. pinata, um, ring toss, <laughs> whatever the fuck. Right. Yeah. I was like, well, let's theme them, but okay. let's theme them as. They have to 
do these tasks to solve Joker riddles. So you're putting them on a scavenger hunt. Or Riddler Riddlers. Uh, So the idea is, like, you set up each game as it's a task that is part of a DC superhero girl power, right? Sure. So to speak. So... The fir- and the idea behind the costume was that you would do the promos. You'd cut promos mm-hmm. as the Riddler, which we could play for the girls, mm-hmm. and then it's more of like a real-life situation, yeah. right? So, like, the first one I came up with is, like, you put up a poster of, like, the Joker, bad guy, villain, yeah. whoever the case might be, and instead of doing, like, pin the tail, you had the kids throw batarangs <laughs> at it. And well- the- <laughs> Okay. And then whoever hits the actual villain, you know, gets a point or yeah. whatever the case may be, right? So that's for background. Are you giving the children um, actual batarangs? Well, I mean, they're plastic. Sharpened bat. <laughs> okay, plastic. Plastic, yeah. you know. And, and you put a suction cup on them or whatever. Okay, yeah. Was, you know, not and, a sharp object they're going to be hurling into the air. No, we'll figure it out. You know, that's <laughs> details. And then the other game I yeah. had for an idea was you do, like, a ring toss game, except that the ring is, like, Wonder Woman's lasso. Okay. So you're, like, lassoing. Why are you not marketing this as a real thing? I'm trying to make it a real thing. That's why I fucking asked you for the other <laughs> costume. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then the other thing was, and, and I, I kind of, and I need to brainstorm <laughs> a little bit here. Um I need to come up with an idea for Supergirl. Okay. And I was thinking something with maybe her laser vision. Uh-huh. Like, I was, I had this, like, idea in mind of putting on, like, red, red-tinted red glasses sure. for the girls so that they have, like, the laser vision. Yeah. But I don't know what else to do with that. So do, do you remember those, like, old decoder things we used to get in, like, the Highlights magazines or some shit? Yeah. Where it was, like, you'd get the, you'd get the panel, mm. and it would be all, like, you couldn't really see. It, it, was, it looked like one of those, like, mystery, like, it things. Looked, it looked kind of like the barcode scans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. And then you, yeah. you put the glasses on, and you can read through it. Yeah. Yeah. We should do that. Yeah. But I don't know how to customize. Uh, take some elbow grease. Take some elbow grease. Yeah. Probably going to have to pay a guy. Probably going to have to pay a guy to get another guy. Listen, I'm on a budget. Man. Yeah, we can, we can, we can budget this Do out. Do we know a guy? I might know a guy. You might know a guy. I might know a guy. All right. So anyway, so that's the idea. Mm-hmm. Is that? But I need somebody in the Riddler costume. Sure. To cut the promos. Mm-hmm. To be like. Well, come over here and do this thing and riddle me this yeah. and riddle me that and then I was hoping that like as a grand finale, you know, you solve the three riddles and then you have a Riddler pinata. To where they just beat the shit out of the oh, Riddler Jesus. and get treats. <laughs> I was gonna say you're not gonna like hang me from the tree. <gasps> oh, dude, would no, you? I, mm, What's your price? I, well, oh, we could talk later. Yeah, everybody's got a price. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody's got a price. But so that's the idea for the. I mean, sure. It was either that or like a bounce house. Like, mm, what do you think's better? I don't know, man. Bounce houses are pretty sweet. They're pretty fucking fun. Yeah, I will say that, dude. You have no idea. How fucking expensive it is to rent a place for a kid's birthday party. Oh. It is so expensive. Oh, yeah. Like, I think, uh, what, what are they, Sky Zone, mm-hmm. the, the trampoline park yeah. place, wants well, like $1,000 or some fucking crazy shit. Dang. For like a 10-kid birthday party. Well, they're, well, you're running out the entire place, right? No. Oh, just like a portion? Yeah, like for an hour jump in their party room or some oh. shit. It's crazy. Yeah, no. It's crazy out there. But uh, I think I think we hit our time. Yeah. I think we're good. I was going to say that's a good idea. It's a good idea? It's a good idea. All right. So it's a solid gonna, idea. I'm going to go with that. Now, uh, if we're, we're going to keep doing this. I think we're going to keep doing this on YouTube. Yeah. So if you could subscribe to YouTube, mm-hmm. and that way you will get the notifications as soon as we go live, plus all the additional content. We are going to be doing content. All sorts of content. Aside from this, because this is, you know, fun, but we we want to do more. We want to do more. We want to give more to the people. More to you who we, we are, who, who, who want all of this. Who are you? Who We don't know. Who, who? <laughs> who, who? But, uh, yeah, so we, we are doing this for the love of the game. Yeah. Um, put me in coach, ready to play. All that kind of rigmarole. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so subscribe to the channel. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. Brainwreck on YouTube. 
We're going to be going live every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep. Um, you can follow us on Twitter, at Brain Rock Show. We have an email address, which I think is just brainrockshow at gmail.com. Brainrockshow at gmail.com. Um, and I think we're on Facebook, too. We're, we're, we're still brainstormers on Facebook. But we'll get we're there. Got, we're, we're kind of, I think, still deciding if we want to just transition that into this show yeah, we gotta, or if we want to leave that up for like archive purposes we have to talk it over we, we're gonna have a discussion we're gonna we're have gonna, a discussion we'll, we'll let you know mono e mono yes but hand to hand even combat isn't that never mind anyway <laughs> so for this week for brain, brain rack, rack i've been jason Axe. i'm kevin graham and this has been brain rack <laughs>